Ushauri uliotolewa na jaji mkuu David Maraga kumtaka Rais Kenyatta kulivunja bunge unaendelea kuibua hisia tofauti. Wanawake wakijitosa ulingoni kumpongeza jaji huyo kwa kile wanachosema ni ukakamavu. On 21st September 2020, cemented the Kenya Women Judiciary Ally Pact by advising the president to dissolve parliament under article 261 subsection 7 for failing in its obligation of conduct. We thank the chief justice and the judiciary for staying true to the constitution. Na vile ambavyo jaji mkuu amesema tumempongeza sana sana kama fide tuko nyuma yake ikiwa bunge imeshindwa kufanya hiyo kazi basi haina budi basi waende nyumbani Hata hivyo hali hii haijakumbatiwa na wengi huku wengine wakionyesha kugadhabishwa na hatua hiyo Maraga ali, alikosea e, na alikosea hata kisheria na saa ingine the various arms of government ni vizuri watu kukuja pamoja wanaongea wanasema hii sio kuandikia mtu barua na barua zinapatikana kwa eh, kwa emails eh, upati wakati hata kuongea na rais he has 25 days starting today to cash the first check ending discrimination in Kenya first for women then for all the categories listed above by dissolving parliament within 21 days from today Vikundi hivi vikimsi Rais Kenyatta kutia pamba kwenye masikio huku wengine wakitoa makataya siku 21 kwa Rais Kenyatta kuhakikisha kuwa bonge limepigwa kalamu. The move to court is too, too little too late and he should, go, should have approached the court for, interpre, for interpretation for the chief justice wrote to them on non-compliance in line with the article 1261 subsection 6 on Wazo lililotolewa na spika wa bunge Justin Muturi kuhusu kuwasilisha kesi mahakamani kupinga ushauri huo likionekana kusutwa na baadhi ya wanawake. Martin Opio K24